Everything there that you just heard is all relate. Renee and I just sat down and we literally went through every single sound that she's got in her repertoire, <laughs> which is quite a large repertoire. Um, and so that, that involved just singing a note, just singing ah, and then e, and then oo, and so on. Really, it was a very short couple of hours I think I spent with him recording. I've got one here, which is just a loop of Renee hitting an F sharp, I think. The next stage was to was to distort it. It still sounds a bit like her voice. But as soon as I start to bend it, with a bit of love, you can make it be like this. So that's a New York, New York siren. But it's not, that is actually Renee's voice. I didn't believe it. So for weeks and weeks and weeks, I, I just assumed that a lot of sounds were brought in from the outside because they're so real sounding. When I first read the script by Anne Carson, we were thinking about how women's voices have throughout history have changed in the way that they're heard. And we thought, wouldn't it be interesting to have um, the score sort of reflect that? And the idea just kind of got out of control, and I thought, let's just do it, let's not have anything in the show that isn't her. I always say it's the ultimate diva moment to have the entire soundtrack be made from your voice. So for this track, what we've got, all made by Renee sound, a sort of harp sound, double bass. Every note has a slightly different, tiny little sound of her either going which is like the fingernails on a on a bass string as they just, just hit the string. So every note has a slightly different attack. We've got the brushes. That's just her going after. And an organ sound, which is something like, something like this. Every sound effect, as well as all the music and all the sort of abstract sound that maybe it's music or noise or hat, whatever you want to call it, are all made out of Renee's voice. Me, 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 me